shaking my feet as I'm moving to the music. Welcome back to The Huddle, brought to you by 956sports.com, served by McDonald's on Fox 2. Well, normally we would still be discussing highlights and what's happened within the past 72 hours of Valley High School football, but... Since Port Isabel came up short against Belleville and they were the last team standing, it's time for us to give out a few awards. And we're all dressed up more than usual today. I mean, even Dr. Selber's wearing jeans. It's incredible. <laughs> we never thought we'd see those at the end of those white legs there. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we appreciate that, by the way, That's Doc. Yeah. All right, let's talk about a few of the uh, different awards that we've got. Newcomer of the Year. Where exactly would we start on this position, gentlemen? Well, you know, McCann Moore has a kid. Trevor, and I can't pronounce his last name, right? Trevor Spates. Yeah, Trevor Spates, right? Uh, and he kind of reminds me of that of that kid like six, seven years ago, Bradley Stevens, right? Yeah, and, yeah. Right? And he started off as a freshman, you know, had ended up leading the Valley total yards as a career. You know, so I, I figured he would be a good newcomer of the year. And you know what? Doc agreed with me, right? So Yeah, man. Yeah. Tell you what, he... Uh, if he gets in the weight room and if he continues to progress, I don't see any reason why he can't be a six or 7,000-yard back, a D1 player, and someone who will make the Valley proud for years. There you go. Trevor Spates is our All-956 Newcomer of the Year. Coach of the Year. Guys, there was many coaching changes. Uh, Ron Adama in his first year mm -hmm. at uh, Sherryland. Uh, Danny Bennett is taking over for La Villa. I, I mean, those are some pretty big shoes to fill at La Villa, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to that other guy, but, uh, you know, when you think of Coach of the Year... Who's your thought, Doc? Well, you know, you mentioned a couple of guys who had good seasons. I think Scott Ford at Hidalgo got those guys back in the playoffs, That's deserves good. some mention. Uh, Roy Gattis won 10 games for Edinburgh North. I think that surprised a lot of people. Let's not forget Tony V and Armando Cuellar in Westlake. They no. each had great success on teams that, you know, a lot of people didn't think would, would amount to much. Yeah, when it, when it comes down to it, uh, I think that we went with the guy who took his team the farthest. The last man standing, Monty Stumbaugh. And uh, he's definitely a veteran coach, and I feel like he did a nice job with that team. Congratulations, Coach Stomball, our All-956 Coach of the Year. And offensively, there was a lot of different players that we could choose, a lot of different people that we could talk about. Uh, let's start with Tres Barrera and Sherryland, the, sex, the success that he had on the field. And then you had uh, a couple of guys, Marco Munoz and Brownsville with the, with, the, with the Chargers. Don't forget Shea Patterson. Shea Patterson as well yeah. and Hidalgo. Let's not, you know. And Trevor. And we got to shine the light on those smaller mm -hmm. schools as well. Yeah. Um, Coach, what are your thoughts on this one here? You know, offensive MVP, I mean, he can start 1A, right, with uh, Robert Sefna there in La Villa. He did an excellent job taking over A.J. Garza. Um, and you, you know, you got you got Eric Morales, you got Isaias Martinez from Metcalf, right? Uh, you got that, that quarterback, and I forgot his name for mission. He's a big kid. Juan Rios. Yeah, Juan Rios. He's Johnny a big Rivers. Kid. I mean, we can, Johnny Rivers. We can go through a bunch of, you know, the stats were there. You got some receivers that did good. You got but who's back. the one guy that stood out that, that you thought, hey, listen, if I've got to award this, it's going to be this guy. You know, there's two guys that stood out, out there, right? But the one that put up some real good numbers was Javier Obregón from from uh, Nicky Rohe, and he was he was tough, and he was a U.S. Air Force Air Assault Player of the Week. I don't know how many times. Yeah, I know, man. He was incredible. He was, he was. He was. Well, he, you know, not only did he throw for three thousand with oh, more than thirty touchdowns, but he also had eight hundred yards rushing and sixteen touchdowns. Rowe was the most um, amazing, exciting offense to watch in the Valley. He was the one that made it go. He basically had to do everything for that team, and he did. So I think he's a pretty good choice. I think the most impressive part is the first few games, he was playing with a cast on his yeah, hand. That's, that's right. right. And, yeah, and, I remember watching and, and, and to get through that, I mean, I, I will go back to last season mm -hmm. when we were doing this show on the radio. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a, a big Javi Obregón supporter. I wasn't a big fan because I didn't see it within him. But this year, his senior year, when he came back, he left it all on the field and said, this is how it's going to be. This is my team. And he really took Paul Reyes' offense to the next level. Yeah, he matured in one year, and, you know, he became the offensive player of the year. So. I agree with you, man. That is the difference. Because he had a decent year as a junior. But, man, this year was special for him. And for Rowe, he made the playoffs. All right, so congratulations to Trevor Spates, our newcomer of the year, Coach Monty Stombaugh of the Port Isabel Tarpons, our coach of the year, and Javi Obregón, our offensive player of the year. We're going to take a timeout. We'll huddle up. We'll come back with defensive player of the year, our all-956 MVP, and, of course, our all-956 team of the year. It's coming up next right here on The Huddle, brought to you by McDonald's on Fox 2. Copyright in Westlaco, home to all your digital printing needs in the Valley. At Copyright, you can sit down with one of our creative consultants to design that perfect program for your event. If you need a photo for that milestone time in life, we have the latest technology combined with endless creativity to capture that special time. We do photo enlargements, banners, and for new businesses, we can create signs, business cards, flyers, and more. Copyright in Westlaco, located on Westgate behind Walgreens. For printing done right, Copyright. 
Welcome back to The Huddle, brought to you by 956sports.com, served by McDonald's on Fox 2 and 956sports.com. All right, gentlemen, we're halfway through our end-of-the-year awards. Let's get right back to the grind, though. Defensively, was there a player that stood out, Doc, that you said, you know what, when, when people are looking at defensive teams across the Rio Grande Valley, this is the one guy that they've got to worry about? Well, I think there was, really. Uh, you know, if you look at, and I'm spilling the beans early, you look at Garrett Sharp and McCallum Memorial. He was a really big kid with great wheels. He loved to hit. He was dominant. He had 27 tackles in one game, 160-something for the season. He was ridiculous all year, and I had a feeling he was going to be. So Garrett Sharp is the one guy that offensive coordinators, when they see him on the roster, they say, hey, this is the guy that we need to take you know, special precaution with. That's the man on the football field, on the defensive yeah. side, right? He is a man. He's a brick wall. He is a beast. And, you know, as a coach, offensive coach is like, you got to run away from this guy. You know, it's simple. You got to change your entire game plan for one player. And, and that was Garrett Sharp. That's how good he was. All right. Congratulations, Garrett Sharp, our Defensive Player of the Year. Next up, our MVP. There are plenty of guys that we could, we could select from, whether it be a, a Javier Vela, who truly was missed in last night's yes, Port Isabel Belleville game. Uh, we could talk about Javier Obregón of, of Nicky Rowe. We could talk about uh, a, a multitude of players. Yes. Doc, well, where do we go? Well, I guess what you, there's a couple of ways to look at an MVP. You know, sometimes people vote on the basis of performance and stats. Other times people vote on the basis of how important that guy was to the team. With our guy, he had a little bit of both. <coughs> you know, Trace Barrera is the guy from Sierra Land. Right. And he had tremendous stats, you know, 73% completion, brought his team to a 12-0 uh, situation, the most wins they've ever had, third round of the playoffs. I feel like Trace was just an MVP type of kid, you know. You know, this kid, you see the highlight reels. This is the Johnny Manziel of huh. high school football. I mean, he can do it through the air. Yeah. He can run. I mean, yeah. he did everything. He, he did take the Sherry Line Rattlers to a 12 0 record, right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, had best offense performance in, in Valley history, you mm -hmm. know, and he deserves it. Yeah. This kid deserves it. So uh, I guess we can say, uh, that's football, right? Instead yeah. Football, that's that's football. football. Yeah. That's that's football. So good. There you go. Yeah. Congratulations, Tres Barrera, our all 956 MVP. And guys, when we talk about team of the year, yeah. we think Port Isabel, last team standing. Last team, yes. We, we think Nikki Rowe with the success that they had. Yeah, we think, you know, offense, yeah. I always think of the PSJ Bears as team of the year, even yeah. though this year they had a one and nine record. Right. Um, <laughs> so let, let's discuss well, I, this. I go with Ed Couch, team of the year, right? They there there you go. Diversity and they still get the That's playoffs, right. three rounds deep. But, you know, the, the team that, that you have to go with is the team that was overall the best, right? Mm -hmm. Defensively, offensively. And, and that would have been. You know, Sherryland. Sherryland did it. I mean, they had that highlight reel on YouTube that went viral. You know, with yeah, that man, they got a lot of publicity. Sean Landes on all defense, over YouTube, offense, special teams. You know, that's that's who they were, and they, they they deserve that accolade right there. They have to be the team of the year, in my opinion. Doc. Well, I mean, you know, they were number one for most of the year. That's correct. They yeah. came close to setting the record for points. They had some great leaders, some great outstanding uh, individual kids. But I think that and the coaches did a good job. It just seems like that's what, who everybody was talking about all year. That's what yeah. the buzz was with Sherryland. And there were, you know, there were other buzzes lower than that. But to me, just thinking Sherryland, that was the team of the year. It just seemed to make sense. And I think it's because everybody figured the Fred Sanchez era has come to an yeah, end. I mean, There's yeah, going to be a gap in between <clears throat> the transition from Sanchez to Adame. You've got this kid, Tres <clears throat> Barrera, who's going to be the quarterback, who a lot of people, he's really known for his baseball, baseball time. Right, yeah. So a lot of people just didn't know what to expect expect from the Sherryland team and for them to end up with a perfect record throughout the uh, the Rio Grande Valley is just an astonishment that uh, does deserve team of the year accolades. I think that you make a good point. Uh, maybe a lot of people thought that they should be good because of the sophomore talent become seniors, but with that transition and with those uncertainties, man, that makes it even more of a good award. Thank you, Tony. Not you a problem. Through, brother. That's All what right. I'm here for. I, I try to do a good show yeah, every now man, and then. Yeah. You know, Sherryland did a good job of not rebuilding, but reloading. Right? That's right. And Retooling. That goes, yeah, yeah, that goes to Adamas. I mean, credit to Adamas right there. You know, yeah. Good job. So. Hey, 17 years on the sideline being loyal to one man like that, and you get your opportunity. You make the most of it. And I think that's what Ron Adama did for this past season and for seasons to come with the Sherryland Rattlers, our all-956 team of the year. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to throw this one out there. Okay. What do we have to look forward to for next season? What do we have to look forward to for the 2013-2014 campaign? 
Well, I'm already fast at work trying to figure out who the backup holder will be for the Hidalgo JV. So it ain't never stopped for me. Don't worry about it, man. I'm all ready for football now. Yeah. Coach? Well, uh, yes, Hidalgo will be there, right? Uh, but you, you have some young ball clubs out there that did real good and had success in the football field this year. I mean, I'm going to go with Levy, all right? Coach Perez did a good job. I'm going to go with Ed Couch. Most of those kids are coming back yeah. next year, right? And, and then you got Mercedes that was kind of young too, right? So, you know, that's in the 4 level, and then you got the 5 level and 3 You know, we expect big things from P.I., from Eddie North. Yeah, I will you know, be it goes back. on and on, right? Next year's football season is going to be a good one. I think the most impressive thing to watch for next year is, you know, the, the players are in place. It's yes. the, the change of the coaches that we've seen yeah. that have come and gone and, and have, you know, some have retired, mm -hmm. a la Bruce Bush. Mm -hmm. Some have just walked away from a program. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, it's going to be a lot of change for the 2013-2014 season. Mm -hmm. Stuff to be on the lookout for. Of course, we'll have all of that for you and so much more by logging on to 956sports.com. That's 956sports.com. You can always log on. And we got to thank Ooh, a couple nice of impressive catch. people that have helped yeah. us out through this entire four-month run that we've been on. Thanks to our friends at Mott's Cash and Carry. We want to thank our friends at McDonald's that have graciously said we would like to spotlight Valley Kids throughout uh, the, uh, the ability of football, and McDonald's has stepped up. Plus, we'd also like to thank the U.S. Army, the yes. U.S. Air Force That's as correct. well, yeah. uh, Pure Physical Therapy, uh, the law office of Armando J. Marroquin, and and, and, of course, everybody behind the scenes that you didn't get to see as part of the show, whether it be uh, Carlos Robledo, who would dissect the plays for us, our executive producer, Jake Berry, who would come in and, and had the idea and the concept, and, of course, the man behind the camera that makes two of the three of us look good week in and week out. Mm -hmm. The other guy just has no other ability yeah, to yeah. do so. <laughs> Reynaldo Leal, an, an accomplished photographer, yeah. and uh, we want to wish him best of luck. He is going to... Uh, expand his horizons in the uh, coming new year and we wish him nothing but uh, godspeed <laughs> blessings and of course uh, safety along his journey yeah. thanks to you guys for tuning in and joining us whether it was sunday mornings or sunday night through our playoff edition our website is like mickey d's open 24 7 drive up and check us out at 956sports.com 956sports.com coach always a pleasure my friend Thank you. Thank not a, you. not a bad it. move from the sidelines to the studios. Oh, I loved it. I loved we it. certainly yeah. appreciate it. Doc, always a pleasure, my man. It was fun. Man. It was fun. Yeah. You should have seen all the fun we had before and after these shows. <laughs> <laughs> He's silly. I'm the serious one. <laughs> I don't know if we can put no, that right. even <laughs> online, so we, we may have to pass on that one. But, again, to all you guys who have joined us week in and week out, we certainly appreciate it. And our fine studio host, Erico Studios, these guys have done great work for us since day one, and we appreciate Eric and the gang here at Erico Studios. Time for us to sign off one last time. Have a great night. We'll see you soon. And, of course, we'll see you all the time at 956sports.com. Have a good night. Oh, oh, I took that ball around. Here we go, Doc. Oh, I'll block for you. All the way to the end zone. Yeah. <laughs>